Hello everybody and welcome back to our command and control center and in the previous video we started off our while true loop which will take uh, an input of the command for the center itself we coded the first targets command to be equal to actually printing out all the available connections to our server and th then also we printed the session command which will take an input of session and then the number itself and then we will enter that session that we specify with this shell that will take an input of the target socket object and the target IP address and port. So right now, in order to get this to work, we need to save this first of all, nano our server.py and copy our shell function. But we also want to copy it like this, so copy everything. I need to zoom this out so I can copy everything at the time so what you want to copy is basically the entire shell function and also the reliable send and the reliable receive so just copy everything from there and then what you want to do is first of all let me just check if there is anything up here okay so there is not all we need to do is just print the actual uh, copy to our threaded server, so let me just zoom this back in so you can see everything better, nano threaded.py and right up here we can code it right above the actual server. So here it is, we have everything right here. Now all we need to do is do something that you might find a little bit strange. Basically what we will do is now we will copy these two functions and paste them in the actual shell so what we will have is we will have an actual functions within a function. So first of all, you can delete these two. We will not need them at the moment. All I want to them is to copy them so I can paste them in the shell function itself. So delete it above the shell function and tab these two so that they belong to the actual function itself. So tab every line from these two functions. Now I will show you in just a second why we are doing this, just as soon as I type this in, okay so here it is, basically what you need to have is the shell function from our server from the previous sections which has everything the same, so nothing really changed right here, we have our screenshots, keyloggers, download functions, change directories and so on and so on, and we also implemented the reliable receive and reliable send into the shell function itself. So right now, what you want to do is basically the reason why we did this is because right now you need to add to the shell function the actual argument of the target and the IP. Make sure to call it target and IP and not tarnum and IPNum because you can see in our reliable send and receive we use the target, we use target right here, we use the IP right here. So basically what this will do is every uh, is the arguments that is specified in the shell function between the brackets will be actually switched with this target and IP in these other functions within the code itself. That's why we had to put these two functions inside the shell function so we don't actually code it twice. Right now we can actually call the reliable receive from the shell function itself without changing anything to this uh, entire piece of code that we copied. So all we have to do right now is down here, let me just see right here, okay so we did, we called uh, the shell function with the uh, socket object and the target IP so that is specified and now let's see if this will work. Let's actually test this and see whether we get the connection to our session or connection to our server. So let's save this, first of all let us try to run it, or not server, we want to run the threaded, which we need to probably compile, okay, so threaded, and now if we run it, we get the center, okay, and let me just check this out, we need to close this, because we are missing something, we need to print uh, listening for incoming connections, so let's see where we actually need to print that right before or right after starting the server we can just print it before starting the server so just print 
waiting for targets to connect. And then, for example, three dots, close double quotes, and let's save this. Then it will enter the actual server. Let me just check this right here. It will enter this server. Okay. Yeah, it should be like that. So let us try it once again. Threaded. Address already news. We know how to fix that by restarting the actual terminal. Let's go right here. CD. Let me enlarge this so you can see everything better. Zoom this in. CD Python programs. And then reverse shell and then threaded.py. We can see it says waiting for target to connect. Now let me see. We need to actually import my USB drive. Then we need to compile the shell from the previous video. Or let me just see if I already have it. Okay, so I don't have it anymore. So we need to compile it. Go to Python programs, reverse. Basically what you're compiling is the same shell from the previous section. So nothing really changed. So wine root dot wine dry C Python 27 scripts by installer dot txe uh, no console one file and then reverse shell dot py we check ok so the USB drive is plugged in you can see our server or our center is waiting for first target to connect so what we will do is we will first of all try to connect the Windows 10 PC and then if it works without any errors we will also try to connect another PC uh, in the actual uh, server or in the actual threaded server so let us go to our this directory right here and move the reverse shell.txe to media root Kali live. Okay, so we no longer need this. We can enlarge this right here, unplug the USB drive. And let's see whether this will work. So paste this right here. Everything is good to go. It shows no error while running as it should and basically right now we are waiting for the first connection so it should print the socket object and it should print the IP address and also it should print has connected to the server or something like that I forgot what we specified in our code here it is as you can see socket object at this uh, address has connected from this IP address from this port uh, and basically has connected so just click enter you will get the center right here and if we type targets you can see we get a list of currently connected targets and their their IP addresses. In our case, it is just one target right at the moment and it is under the session zero. In order to be able to access this target, we can just type session and then space and then zero, which will lead us to an actual shell with this target. And then we can execute all the previous commands such as QMI, ifconfig and so on and so on or pardon me, it's IP config for Windows. So here it is. Now we have a problem. In our shell, we have coded that once we press Q, it will actually quit the, uh, the, the connection itself. So you can see right here, targets. And if I try to enter session once again and type who am I, it will not work. We will not get anything back. So this is something that we need to fix both in our threaded server and in our reverse shell. And we will do that in the next video. And also then we will try to connect multiple targets for the first time. So hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope I see you in the next one. Bye.